Hello everyone and welcome to a very special review from Colour with Claire. I'm so so ecstatic and excited that I've received my preview copy of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. This is her brand new book, it's coming out next month and it's just incredible. I mean it's far surpassed all of my expect expectations and I'm just super super excited to be able to show it to you early. Um, so I received this directly from Johanna herself. I'm so very lucky to be one of the bloggers that was on her preview list. I also got this um, little butterfly note card with a note from Johanna on there. And I was also very generously sent a pack of 24 Ergo Soft pencils to colour it in with. So immediately, as soon as I got this this morning, I was still in bed. Um, so I went straight back up to bed to get warm and cosy and have a good look at the book. And I ended up colouring the nameplate in the book with the Ergo Soft. I just couldn't wait to get downstairs and get all my um, usual supplies out that I use. So I just sat in bed and immediately had to colour something. So I'll just show you the bits and bobs about the book first. So let's give it a measure. It is 10 inches by around about eight and a half inches, approximately, give or take. It It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. The measurements were always available, so I don't know really why I didn't check that, but for some reason I thought it was gonna be um, like the artist editions, or maybe just slightly smaller, but in a more A4 size. But it's sort of, it is it's not square obviously but it's 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 smaller than i thought it was going to be and it's just really really just a beautiful beautiful book you can see it's quite thick as well i thought it was going to be thinner than that so that surprised me and it has this beautiful bronze foiling on the front and on the back we just have some more colorable artwork and a bit of a blurb about the book so everything can be colored as usual with johanna's covers and um, the US edition has got some green or teal colours on it as well as the foiling. So that's how you can tell the difference. This is the UK version. All of Johanna's UK versions are in black and white with foiling. And in America, she often adds a splash of colour, just probably for you to just easily tell the difference. So as we open the book, you can see that there is this dust flap here. I'm really really glad about that that it doesn't have a dust jacket because it always ends up getting dog-eared and slipping around when I'm trying to colour and it just annoys me so I much prefer this format of just having this flap here. As you can see loads and loads of different blooms and objects and birds and leaves for you to colour on this inside cover and it's nothing too intricate so it's, it's going to be a pretty easy cover to colour and quite satisfying to have that done I think. So this is the very first page, it's the book title page and it also has a colourable border around it as well, quite ornate um, little fleur-de-lis, not fleur-de-lis but that sort of ornate type of style around it with lots of little gems and diamonds embedded into it as well. So here we have the introduction page and this is just a short note from Johanna telling you all about the story because of course this is not just a colouring book, it is a storybook as well. And it tells you all about that and under here we have a few tips for colouring. So there is a colour palette test page in this book, it's at the back. Um, she says that pencils are the most versatile medium um, because you can mix and blend your colours quite easily. Pens are vibrant but you do have to remember to test them before you dive in on a page. So um, at the end here it just says that more than 200 butterflies have fluttered between the pages of this book, can you spot them all? So there are 200 butterflies or more than in this book and you have to see if you can find them. So here is the nameplate page. It's just a simple name in the middle. There's nothing around it as you can see. My name was actually written in by Johanna which was one of the most exciting things ever. Um, <laughs> I could not believe it when I opened it and saw that my um, name had been written in it already for me and also it's been signed here by Johanna as well. It's just such a special little addition. Um, to a, a very very special book so this is what you what you can see that I've colored so far with the ergo soft um, hopefully yep the camera's picking that up so I decided to color my name in all the colors that I used on the outside nameplate and I don't know why but this butterfly just screamed pink and purple to me so that is the colors that I've used and then I use them here as well just to um, tie it in and then some sort of deep red blooms at the side so you could do something else with um, the space around this if you wanted to. 
and then we get straight into the main part of the book, the story and the illustrations. So a lot of people I know were a bit iffy about a storybook from Johanna because a lot of people don't really like text, they just want a book of illustrations but honestly the text really really sits well in this book and it flows, it flows with the illustrations. There's not huge reams of text taking up a whole page and nothing else, there's always something to colour on every single page. So here we have Ivy herself, she's at the centre of the story. I haven't read the whole story yet, uh, but it's a girl who discovers this beautiful world called Enchantia. And um, so here she is. Now Johanna's not very um, often drawn faces and people, I don't think it's something she's 100% comfortable with, but absolutely lovely. It's so nice to see something different from Johanna because I absolutely love her style. She's obviously one of the most prolific and best illustrators of colouring books ever, um, but it is nice to have some different um, items and things to colour rather than leaves. There's still a lot of leaves, don't get me wrong. Um, so she's sort of in this border here with lots of florals and bits and bobs around her and as you can see the text is also bordered by a beautiful looking cake. We've got strawberries and blooms and a book and pencils and all sorts of different stuff so already I'm just loving the fact that it's not flowers and plants and animals as usual. So here we've got lots of little trinkets and treasures um, so we've got a cuckoo clock, we've got um, a trumpet, a goblet, scissors, a padlock, we have a treasure chest, a message in a bottle, boat in a bottle type thing um, and this is just beautiful. These lanterns are going to be great to colour because you can make that sort of hazy glow around them. So here we have no text on the page at all. This is just one big spread of, um, it looks as if it's someone's study. I guess we'll know from the story where we are when we read it. So this is the wonder room apparently of Ivy's grandfather. And there's just so much little little details in here. It's it's going to be one of those things where you don't find everything until you you start colouring. And um, yeah, there's just so many little bits and bobs, hidden treasures, and books and scrolls and maps and Tiffany style lamps. Just all sorts, all sorts. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful one once it's finished. It really actually reminds me of the romantic country books, and that is what I love because. Um, I love Johanna's style, she's absolutely amazing, but I love the content and the context of the romantic country books. And this, I feel, is just the perfect in-between. So we've got some text, again, with a border around it, and we have the butterfly that Johanna used in her recent colouring competition. I've seen loads and loads of these butterflies coloured, some amazing works of art by colourists in the community. Um, but one of my favourites that I saw was a monochrome butterfly, black and grey, and then all around it was this watercolour wash of rainbow colours, and that was amazing. I think I'm going to give that a go on this page. Absolutely loved it. So little bits of border up here, some little details from the Wonder Room. We've got quills and feathers and little ribbons also of little flowers. Here we've got um, talking about the keyhole where she finds this amazing world of Enchantia. So she's looking through the keyhole and she can see all of these blooms and bits of jungly leaves and fronds and vines just poking out of this keyhole that's going to be a gorgeous one as well in fact this whole book I can just imagine is going to be amazing when it's colored and you can just imagine giving it to you know somebody in the family or reading it with your children they read it with their children and you've colored it all in it's just something amazingly different so here we have just a page full of quite large flowers and leaves so lots of scope there for blending here we've got ivy looking out of the door and it's just absolutely covered in ivy and mushrooms and leaves. Here we've got some huge, these look like giant flowers and this huge bumblebee. I don't know whether that's the scale but it feels to me like these are huge plants. We've got a lovely border of, I don't know if these are forget-me-nots or some sort of tiny flower but they're really really sweet. So also it's really good for if you can't be bothered to start a whole new design and you just want to colour something but not, you know, something 
massive you can just start on these text pages and you've got something to color but it's not going to take you a long time so we've got dandelion wishes written on little postcards that is so sweet we've got a little post box down here we've got some dandelion wishes in a bottle some lanterns again and the bee these are quite ornate frames as well on here and they're just framing these different types of flowers. It would be nice to, if I was that way inclined and knew about flowers, it would be nice to know what all these different types of flowers and botanics are called so I could look them up and um, d you know, colour them in the correct colours. So here's a sort of ribbon-esque illustration that goes across the two pages. These look like cherry blossoms but could be wrong actually yes it is a cherry blossom i'm right so i wonder if the text does tell you exactly what flowers there is maybe it does this is absolutely amazing so we've got ivy over here and then this huge um conglomeration of flowers and um patterns we've got stars there's leaves in there there is little circles and just amazing, amazing. So this is her thinking and imagining the possibilities of this amazing, wondrous world that she's found. Again, we've got some text centre here with a border of flowers. We have some florals, which we saw in the cover of the book. One of my favourite things about Johanna's style is her spheres. I really love this little compact area that you can colour and this is a beautiful one. So we've got Ivy in her little boat with the mouse and the um, little hut that she's got on the boat there. And I love that the sail is made out of leaves. Absolutely wonderful. Another double page spread with no text. This is very reminiscent of something from Enchanted Forest and also Magical Jungle that Johanna drew. Um, these sort of little tree houses on stilts, which is really, really nice. And again, lots of room for different background work there. This is quite a busy page full of bits and bobs. Again, the story is going to explain exactly what these are. Um, mislaid crowns, golden coins, glittering necklaces and silver spoons. So it's a bit of a treasure page. We've got Ivy on the boat down here again, but not as big because you probably won't want to do that all over again, what you've just coloured. So it's nice that that's still here, sort of flowing the story along, but it is like quite a small illustration. I've got a telephone, strangely. <laughs> down here I think this is in the story as well yep so this is more of a mandala type piece it's um not mandalas aren't in the book um very frequently but this is a really nice piece again if you want to color something but you don't want to have to think about well what color shall I do the grass and the trees and blah 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 you can just fill in the gaps on this one and then it's one of those that's sort of taken out of the page which Johanna likes to do and then the gap is left on the other page with the border so it's sort of like an opposite page so we have some beautiful gems and brooch type things here they'll be good to practice your gemmy colouring on and we have this magpie and he's surrounded by a little border of leaves and branches Wow, this is inside the magpie's nest, obviously. So loads and loads of shiny objects and different things. And because it's all going to be shiny stuff, this page, if you colour it with blending techniques and things like that, is going to look super, super realistic, I feel. So we've got goblets, spoons, necklaces, plates, um, gems, crowns, vases. There's little potion bottles. We've got a sword. A, um, a little carriage clock all sorts all sorts of different things again it's just really amazing to see um, all these different types of images but in Johanna's style it's exactly what I was after so we've got borders of text again and this little illustration here was drawn by Johanna's daughter and she incorporated it into the book which is just a lovely touch and then we have this here which looks like a compass within a sort of opening maybe gold uh, I don't know what you would call it something that opens up like that it looks almost like a scarab beetle but it's not and then we have these mushroom houses here with little chimneys 
So here are a couple of little elves or pixies that are in this Enchantia and again surrounded by a lovely border. We've got some food bits and bobs down here and a pot of honey. There's nothing to say that you can't colour in or draw anything around this text either. There's always a space for you to add your own details. Now here is one of my absolute favourites. Again, it's sort of this spherical shape. Um, it's the moon made out of leaves and flowers with these beautiful sort of dangling um, bluebell type things. Um, and I just I absolutely adore that page. We've got another, another double page spread and it's a massive feast laid out on this table within the jungly gardens and again lots of blooms we've got a couple of dragons here which are integral to the story i think uh, they're approaching dragonia so they're going into a new land now lots of flames going up here and smoke for the dragons lovely lovely floral border on this and we have two sort of griffin griffin type things here yeah they are the griffins again with this compass and some black breeze and a castle here as well so this is sort of like an insignia like a um what would you call it like a crest a crest type illustration we have a bit of a ribbon type image across here and then we've got this beautiful ornate bee Loads more bees as well. I absolutely love bees, so I'm going to have fun colouring these. I might even do them like gems, so I like gem bees. This one incorporates loads of text, but it's within a sort of comic book style format. So you've got some um, colouring in that, and then you've got some text, and then you've got some more different colouring images. So that's going to look really cool when that's done. I, I like the layout of that page. So here we've got Ivy going into this little wooden door in a tree. We've got an owl up here, we've got some acorns, lots of little mushrooms as well. Here we've got some jars with fireflies in. This is going to be a sweet one for drawing like maybe a nighttime background and these glowing fireflies in these jars. Beautiful ornate candelabra, chandelier type thing lots of gems on it again so it's really encrusted and you know just dripping with opulence this one and again another double page spread loads and loads of gems in huge uh, goblet um type thing I, I'm, i've lost my words today what would you call this so like a big yeah <laughs> unicorn we've got a big treasure chest full of all sorts of treats and treasures We've got a shield and we've got these banners that are just sort of torn down here. So I can imagine this having quite a medievally, medievally castle type look to it. Here we have this huge king dragon and another lovely border here around the text and a big goblet which Ivy and House Mouse are trapped in it looks like. So this is a giant goblin, uh, goblin, goblet. <laughs> so more text bordered, three little dragons, and we've got a tiny little house right in the middle of this one with loads of blooms around it, we've got a heart which you'll always find in one of Johanna's books, another ribbon design, lots of potential with backgrounds in this as well. And here's a portrait of Ivy herself. You don't often see humans or Ivy herself throughout the book. It's sort of sprinkled in here and there. So if you're not adept at skin tones and not comfortable with colouring people and faces, you don't have to do a lot of that in this book. Absolutely love this text in the middle, like it's on a scroll and then the illustrations around it. These are my favourite type of pages, I think. I have another dragon. I think Johanna's doing a dragon scales tutorial which is going to be really helpful for all the dragons in this book. And we've got some quite creepy creatures here, again this comic book layout. And then we have Ivy back at home saying goodbye to all the amazing creatures that she's met along the way. And then we've got a few butterflies, so obviously with this being Ivy and the Inky Butterfly there's going to be lots of butterflies in the book and these are ones that are quite large so you can personalise them how you want. So we have a, another page of objects, 
we have a mushroom with some lanterns dangling down underneath and a tea party on top that's really really sweet and this looks like a sort of porthole that you're looking through and then we've come to the end and all the copyright information this book was printed and bound in china this particular version and then we have our color palette test page as promised um, so you can test all of your palettes you can test all of your pens and wet media and see how that performs on this paper we again have the same as we had at the front with the flap and that is the book so i better explain a little bit about the paper this is exactly the same paper used in magical jungle so if you have that book you'll know it's really very good quality paper and for some reason in this book it feels thicker i don't know why maybe it's just me but it does feel thicker it has a beautiful tooth for colored pencils as you can see it took the ergo softs really well and i feel it'd be even better with something softer like poly uh, prisma colors um as for bleeding through let's give a nice patch of marker on here and see how that uh, how that turns out so we've got quite a wet marker here this is a sakura koi pen i'm just going to do this little butterfly a couple of times over see how it turns out on the back as you can see absolutely nothing has come through there at all so even though this is a double-sided book you can use your pens just be very careful that you don't press too hard or go through it go over it too many times so the book itself is coming out on the 12th of October on Amazon. It's currently in pre-order price at £11.94. And in America, it's $9.87 on Amazon at the moment. But if you do pre-order now using the link in the description, Amazon will give it to you for the best price. So if it says $11.94 now and then it goes up to £13, in between now and next month it will um sell it to you for the 11.94 so you don't have to worry about that definitely get your pre-orders in on this one because i can see it flying out of the shelves and having to be reprinted and being out of stock um that's how amazing i think it is so i really hope you've enjoyed this very enthusiastic and very deserved review of ivy and the inky butterfly johanna's really really outdone herself this is by far and away my favourite thing that she has created, that is how good it is. So please check the description for the links to buy and pre-order and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.